Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeksvana. As you might remember, back in February of this year, we brought you a video explaining how some of the changes coming up to UK and EU drone regulations would mean you'll need to register your DJI Mavic Mini to fly it legally in the UK from the 1st of July 2020. There have been a few changes, including clarifications from the CAA and dates being moved around due to the COVID-19 crisis. So coming up today, I'll be giving you the updated information about how the new regulations will impact the popular Mavic Mini drone in particular, and when and if you need to register it. That's all coming up. Geeks Varna is your drone channel. As you might be already aware, there are significant changes coming to UK drone regulations by way of CAP 1789 and the EASA regulations. This particular video is going to specifically discuss the Mavic Mini, so we won't be going into depth into these new rules as a whole, but there will be more videos on Geeksvana about the EASA regulations in general. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to get the latest drone news first. I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who's taken the time to watch my videos so far, and of course to those who took it a step further and subscribed. We're a small channel and your support makes all of this possible and worthwhile. So just very quickly, even though the UK is leaving the EU via Brexit, the CAA are still working towards adopting the new EASA drone regulations, originally due to come into force in just two days from the filming of this video on the 1st of July 2020. However, with the current crisis, the dates have been pushed back a couple of times to the new Europe-wide date of the 31st of December 2020. To find out how the UK CAA plan to implement these rules, you can read more in their CAP 1789 document, which is linked in the description below. To find out more, you can also watch our EU Drone Laws playlist, which is also linked down there. Okay, back to the awesome DJI Mavic Mini and the burning question about whether you'll need to register the drone after regulations come into force at the end of the year. As we stand under UK drone regulations, because the DJI Mavic Mini is under 250 grams, just, you do not need to register it to fly the drone legally. Keep in mind, however, that adding extras such as wraps or the prop guards could easily bump you over the 250 gram weight, as of course we only have one gram to play with here. It's also worth mentioning that just because you currently do not need to register the Mavic Mini, you do of course need to ensure you follow the drone code. Registration is just that and does not bypass the regulations governing drones. Once the EASA regulations are fully adopted by the UK CAA on the 31st of December 2020, you will need to register your DJI Mavic Mini, no matter the weight or when you purchase the drone. This means you will need to complete the UK Demares scheme, the Drone and Model Aircraft Registration and Educational Scheme, before you can continue to fly your Mavic Mini in the UK skies legally. This has nothing to do with weight, but surrounds the camera on the drone. You see, the new regulations will also cover aspects of privacy. This is something new to the UK CAA, who usually leave such things to other government departments. There's a link in the description to the scheme and I'll be releasing an updated video soon showing you step by step how to register your drone in the UK. So stay tuned to Geeksvana for that. What do you think of these changes? Are you concerned about having to register your Mavic Mini? Let me know in the comments below. I really do enjoy all the interaction with viewers on Geeksvana. So as a UK hobbyist you will need to complete the scheme including gaining both your flyer ID and operator ID. The flyer ID identifies the person who is flying the drone. You'll need to pass an online theory test to gain one. The test is made up of 20 multiple choice questions. It's fairly straightforward. The Damares website contains all the answers you'll need and you're allowed to take the test as many times as you need to pass it. The focus here is on knowing you have a basic knowledge to make you a safer drone flyer. The flyer ID will be valid for three years and is free. The operator ID is for the owner of the drone and makes you responsible for making sure that only people with a valid flyer ID use the drone. This is the part where we all expect where you clearly place your operator ID on the drone. You've got to be over 18, the fee is currently £9 and the registration lasts for one year. The same operator ID number is placed on all your drones which require registration. One side note here is to say that the operator ID, which is the number going on your drone, isn't a registration number. It isn't going to stay with you. So make sure you put it on with a sticker or something as it is likely that you will get a new operator ID when you renew in a year's time. Again, I'll be putting out an updated walkthrough guide for the Damares scheme very soon uh, as you've been requesting it. So keep tuned for that where I will delve deeper into the 
scheme itself as well. There will also be a couple of updates aimed specifically at the Mavic Mini and some pretty cool things you'll be able to do with the drone once the EASA regulations are adopted, which you simply cannot do right now. So there we have it. You will still need to get ready to register your DJI Mavic Mini, but you get to enjoy registration-free flying for another few months. See you in the next video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, you still here? Uh, no in the seat. <laughs>